Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 27, and this is war number four. And we're going up against an alliance called the Green Scar. All right, so we're going to take a look at their defense and formulate our plan of attack. Uh, I'm taking path three in sections one and two. Uh, okay, well, okay, that works. Uh, I have no one there. Uh, and it looks like they are waiting for me to take out this Black Widow uh, Deadly Origins. So uh, my normal team is uh, Nick Fury, uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Warlock. And Nick Fury should be able to handle that fight uh, without too much difficulty. All right. Uh, someone else is going to handle that Nick Fury. We've got uh, Professor X. Uh, I can take that fight if need be uh, with Nick Fury, uh, provided that he is in still good shape uh, after fighting that Black Widow Deadly Origin. Then we've got uh, Black Widow uh, Clairvoyant to take this uh, Colossus. And I could take Invisible Woman also with Nick Fury. Uh, that bleed helps uh, keep her invisibility when she does trigger it. Uh, if she lives long enough, uh, it keeps it from uh, lasting too long. And then this mini here, um, hmm, uh, could probably take that fight with Warlock. That's usually uh, who I like to take that node with. Let's take a look at the nodes here. Um, that uh, strike counter combat power rate means probably not going to be able to use a lot of specials. I can do an advanced power boost, get to a special two uh, pretty quickly. That buffet, very, very annoying. Um, but Warlock can, you know, keep the infections on so they won't be healing. So he's a good option for that fight. All right, now, Mini Boss Island. Emma Frost on the left. That's a Rage node. Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant can do that fight. Uh, Mojo, who I hate fighting. Uh, Nick Fury could take that fight. Um, depends on his uh, shape. And then we've got Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, Black Widow can do it. Uh, Warlock can do it. And um, Nick Fury could power through it. So really just depends. Uh, I like having someone who has some power control uh, to go against that fight. But, you know, you can do it, especially if you're willing to use a boost. You can just power through it, eat a special three if need be, uh, and just get them down quickly. All right, so down the bottom, we usually have a Human Torch handle that Sasquatch there. Uh, Terex, um, I will try my best to stay away from that node. I really don't like it, but Black Widow Clairvoyant can do that fight. And then Thing, anytime I see Thing, I think of my uh, Nick Fury, who is a great counter for Thing. Uh, so just depends on what we look like uh, by the time we get to Mini Boss Island. All right, so looks like Section 1 will be pretty easy. I will take that Black Widow Deadly Origin fight, then wait for the middle to be cleared. And uh, I'm about to go to bed right now. But if I wake up and that Professor X is still there, uh, then I will fight him uh, with Nick Fury. And then move on to Colossus and Invisible Woman. And then we'll see how things look after that. All right. So we'll be back with the uh, fighting. All right. We're back. And I'm going in with my standard uh, war attack team of uh, Warlock, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Nick Fury. Uh, and I have a six-star Nick Fury that I cannot wait to get awakened. He will go straight to rank three. All right, so uh, path three, section one. You see, I didn't have to fight anyone along the path, which means I need to take this boss, okay? 
Uh, and fortunately, with the team that I have currently, it's not a problem. So I want you guys to watch what happens during this fight. Okay, it's a straightforward, standard um, Black Widow, Deadly Origins fight. I've got Nick Fury. Don't have to worry about firing specials off or anything. And you're gonna see why I like to use Nick Fury. So here we go. Putting that bleed on her. Look at that. Her health is just melting away. Okay, this is a straightforward fight. Boom. Don't need to do too much. All right, we need to bait out one special. She has one half of her health left. And look at that. Look at this. So I'm dashing back and she still clips me. And then she evades and I'm just like, wow. That fight went bad so quickly. If it had been any other champion, that would have been it. Just that quickly. And when I went in there, I noticed that she had a little bit of health uh, gone. That means that one of my alliance mates had already gone in there and fought her and got wrecked really quick. And I see why. I'm hearing that there is a bug. I don't know if I ran into it. Uh, where she's evading without having her, you know, evade uh, buff up. I don't know. But what I do know is that I tried to swipe left and I still got hit. Okay. So anyway, that's why I love using Nick Fury. Uh, it, it handled that kind of shenanigans that would have destroyed one of my champions. I would have been in a rage having lost a champion that fast in that first fight right there, you know? I'd have been like, okay, I didn't fight anybody on my path. And the first fight, I would lose a champion? No. You know, I, that would have pissed me off. So anyway, we got through that fight. Uh, they went ahead and opened up uh, section two. And you can see here, I'm boosting up. Okay, and I'm boosting up for a reason. And it's not for Colossus. Okay, uh, this fight, very straightforward. Black Widow Clairvoyant handles this extremely well. Uh, she has a bleed immunity when she's in Curse of Blood, so she can handle that node. And she also uh, can heal. She nullifies his armor ups, so he basically has no defense against her. Doesn't matter if he's bleed immune, she can switch to poison and poison him if she wants to. But staying in blood, uh, I cycled through just to get the poison off of me so it doesn't reduce my healing, all right? But in Curse of Blood, I can heal. So you can see here, I'm going in, boom, 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 and look at the health that I ended the fight with. Black Widow Clairvoyant, who, by the way, is in the arena right now. Folks are grinding for her. Round one is over. Round two is going to start tomorrow. Um, actually, today. By the time you see this video, uh, it'll be later on today um, that round two starts. All right. So next up, we've got Invisible Woman. And this is who I was planning to use Nick Fury against. And I see no reason not to. So we, you know, do a little swipe, get that invisibility off, and then boom. Now she's got some bleeds. Even if she does go invisible, it won't last very long. Uh, you got the real Nick Fury out, so he's doing crazy amounts of damage, and the fight is over. Almost before I could even talk about it. Oh, yeah. A rank three six-star Nick Fury who's awakened, he will be on my Alliance War team. All right, so now we come to the fight that I was concerned about and why you saw me boosting up earlier. It's this war machine. I mean, not, not war machine, Hulk Buster. This Hulk Buster just got reworked and he is a pain. Now I remember back in the day when he was a pain and then he wasn't. And now he's a little bit again. Uh, that shock that he puts on you can hurt, can really hurt. So you want to be careful. Now, on this node, we have Buffet. And so we have to deal with that healing. 
either overwhelming force, somebody that does crazy amounts of damage, somebody who can block healing in some way, shape, or form, um, or maybe, I don't know. Uh, but Warlock has a good mix of both. So you see, I'm just parrying. I want to get the infections up. Once the infection is up like that, he's not healing anymore. Now I can be aggressive. You saw me boost up. Uh, I also uh, have put in the uh, advanced power boost so that I can fire that special off. Now this node is strike counter uh, power. And what happens is that the more you hit and use your attacks, you get these suppressions on you and you're not gonna be gaining power. To reset it, you fire a special off. But you get to a point where you can't fire a special because you have the suppressions, catch 22. So advanced power boost is really good for this node because it guarantees that I'll be able to fire off at least one special, two, or at least a special one. So as you saw there, we were able to take him down without any difficulty. Again, boosting up, that is uh, the key. All right, so now we're at Mini Boss Island and I'm looking here and I'm like, okay, they need to let me know who I'm going to fight, but they're divvying it up. I didn't fight anyone on this node, uh, on, on this uh, island, uh, but we're going to have the boss fight because Big Blue fought the boss, recorded it, and sent it over to me. Okay, so even though that ends my participation in the war, let's hit up Big Blue's video, all right? So... Let me tell you something about this fight, all right? It's Apocalypse. But if you noticed, they had someone on that hazard shift node. And as long as someone is taking Ghost, it's an easy way to cheese it. Look at what he's doing, okay? See, he's getting poisons on him. But all that does is make Ghost hit harder. So no matter what, incinerates, Okay, poisons, okay. It just gives Ghost more power. See, now she's got incinerates. He uh, swiped it away. More damage for Ghost. So a lot of, uh, of the um, higher tier alliances will leave, if they put Apocalypse, they'll leave that node empty. But they didn't, and Apocalypse went down. Very nice fighting, uh, Big Blue. All right, so we're going to take a little intermission and we will be right back and we'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. And let me tell you, I actually got irritated uh, about this loss. Now, this is why. Let me show you. Look at our diversity. Look at our diversity. I was so upset that I basically uh, sent a message to my alliance and I said, I am completely demoralized and decentivized to use boosts. I'm not gonna boost up as long as our diversity is like that. Now we just went through a merger and people are still getting things uh, straight. And as of this recording, uh, our diversity is fixed because this is like one war um, behind but our diversity is fixed uh, now. But that uh, diversity never, if we're, and, and I told them, I said, if, you, if we are planning to hit platinum three, then we need to look like it. And this does not look like it. This does not look like we are going for platinum three. Okay, now we would most likely have lost this war uh, anyway, if I, if I, uh, understand what we, we were being told. Uh, but I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Um, it looks like uh, that diversity is is really, uh, it really killed us. But I don't know. They may have still edged it out. I'm kind of looking to do like a little napkin math kind of a thing. Um, yeah, they had a little bit more attack bonus. So yeah, so they probably still would have won even if we had our diversity 
uh, at 146 like they did. Um, but that's going to do it, guys. Uh, like I said, we do have our diversity fixed. I don't mind. Well, I do mind losing. I hate losing. But I don't mind losing if they just outfought us. I'll still boost up, do my best. But with the diversity that low, it would have been extremely difficult for us. We would have had to have played perfectly, single digit deaths. And then we would have won regardless of our diversity. Um, but that's a lot of pressure. You know, uh, Alliance Wars are already filled with pressure. So in any case, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.